Here I am at the bus station in Český Kromlov because I'm going to Český Budějovice which is just around 30 minutes from here by bus so I still have to wait unfortunately another 35 minutes before it's here but uh, again cannot complain about the weather so let's just wait and I'll see you in Český Budějovice Hello guys and welcome to beautiful Česky Budějovice I'm currently here at the main attraction it's a square it's called Premizil Otakar, which is actually the translation to King Otakar, who was the founder of Česke Budějovice and in his name they got this magnificent large square here and it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be it's even the, I think the same size as where the clock is the astronomical clock in Prague it's rather large and as you can see there are cars around here uh, they made a parking spot for it I think it's actually smart idea however it does feel a little bit empty and i don't know if it's because of the covid times they don't want to have like all kind of terraces here or or not but still most of these buildings however around are either restaurants or hotels so you can see the big one there hotel swan is where i'm currently staying at and we have another very nice building there that i want to show you guys because I heard that that is actually the town hall and that actually looks really really good I already must admit that it's actually very colorful here I do always enjoy it when they have uh, you know not just the gray buildings but also like a lot of colors and that makes it more feel like more alive Unfortunately, the weather will not be so much alive. Well, or it might be alive because it's uh, getting really dark. That's okay for a change because I forgot sunscreen and my nose is like burned to a crisp. So I'm okay with this kind of weather as long as it's not gonna rain, right? So take a look at this. So I've actually been wondering how old this is the square and as far as I know the square is from the 18th century I might be wrong there because I haven't checked it so sometimes I just do things out of my head it might be fake news but oh it really looks nice as per usual I'm also wondering if we can go inside or if it's actually nice to look at from the inside because most of the time city halls are you know the places where all the bureaucracy happens so some tourist information here but that looks kind of it yeah that's kind of it nothing much there I like these arches though around us. Let's see if we can go in here because this is the official entrance. As you can see. Let me put on a mask, but it doesn't really look nice on the inside. Still, you need to have a face mask anywhere you go inside buildings in the Czech Republic. But this is just a. Uh, no. Unfortunately, we cannot see much here. And this is just your typical city hall bureaucracy areas, as you can see. Well, most of the people already know a lot about those things. Even in your own country, probably there's a lot of those places for a lot of bureaucracy, right? Okay. We'll say, uh, let's go to the fountain, at least on the square, see what that's all about. And then, in the distance, you see a big tower. Apparently, you can go all the way up to the top. And there's probably no elevator. So I just wonder, I'm just gonna go there as well. See how many stairs I have to climb. If it's gonna be worth it. Knowing me, and if I wanna show you guys something, it probably has uh, more than 250 stairs or something. So <laughs> I hope not. Okay. have these mist 
water mist machines because it's uh, because of the heat. I don't think it's really that hot anymore, but in the sun it definitely is. Okay, let's check it. All right. It actually looks quite large. Also beautiful with the uh, clouds in the background. Yeah, we'll definitely look up some more information for you guys about the fountain as well. So like I said, Czeska Budiovice is actually a very strange town for tourism. And that is because it's mainly just a stop if people go from Prague to Czeski Kromlov. So a lot of people actually will never visit this place. Now, I heard a lot of rumors that it's actually really pretty and definitely some sort of like diamond in the rough in the Czech Republic. That's why I'm actually visiting here because like I said earlier, it's just only 30 minutes from Český Kromlov and if you just go directly from Prague to here, two hours, 15 minutes by bus. So it's not that far, it's the same distance as Karlovy Vary for instance, which also takes around that same time by the same sort of bus. So my thing is here to see and experience Česky Budiovice during the day, um, go out in the evening if the weather allows it, see what the nightlife will be kind of about, it means that I won't go like in the Brno video to bars but at least see what the experience is about and of course the end conclusion if Česky Budiovice is actually a place that you should visit if you are going on holiday in the Czech Republic or maybe even living here that if you should visit Czeska Budiovice. Oh, they have clock bells. Right, it's a lot busier on the road than I thought it would be. A lot of cars. All right, let's go to the big tower. Let's see how many stairs I have to walk. So in here we have it. It's called the Black Tower. It's um, built, as far as I could read about it, in 1577 and it's 72 meters tall. Now, I see people there, so I think you can go in exactly what I hoped for. But I really wonder how many stairs it is going to be. So the entrance costs you 40 Czech crowns, which comes down to, I think, 1 euro 80 or 2 dollars. And I will go check it out because I'm really curious what the view will be like. Unfortunately, no elevator, so I will have to walk and I'm not gonna count the stairs. Hopefully they show it somewhere along the way, how many there are actually, but let's go. Stairs. All right, so here we go. Super, super small, tiny little stairs. I always think it's kind of funny because these small stairs that go up in a circle, after a while, you start to become dizzy. At least I always have that. And actually, when you look at it, they're really so small, you cannot, I cannot even put my foot fully down, even on the big part. Okay, that's the first part. Have you counted the stairs? I didn't. <laughs> so if you did, let me know in the comments below how many stairs there are. Oh. Or steps, not stairs, right? Anyway. Wow. 
Here everybody is huffing and puffing. Let's hope these things won't go off right now. Oh, 1995? 1723. Oh. Look at this. So small. Alright. Go. Kick him out. got a crouch right now because if I'm not just bump my head here as well okay. all right let's continue I think if you're bigger or taller than I am and bigger size wise this climb is actually really difficult because you have to squeeze yourself through certain things. I think I'm nearly there. So, let's see if it says anywhere how many stairs it is. No, nope, it doesn't. It's really hoping for it. It's all in check, but as far as I can read it, it doesn't say anything about the stairs. Steps again. Sometimes I get confused with certain words. Let's go. Have to bend a little bit. All right. Only 15 stairs left. Thought I was already there. But this is what I meant, you know. I mean. I'm not very wide, but I still don't have much room. And now because of my backpack, I cannot even go sideways either. So, please let me allow it to go up here. No, I'm not. Okay. This one is loose. Over there. Dobrý den. Jednou, pane? Jo, jedno. Jo, 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 je to tak. Super. Tak se řeknu. Tak se to dokumentoval. O, oh, super, děkuji moc. Prosím. Official stamp on it. That you made it. Awesome. Ooh, so 225 steps and then we are here look at this guys put away the ticket all right look at this view amazing so this is basically the entire of Cheske Budiewice You see that the buildings are lower than in most places. That's why it's a little bit more stretched out. But I think that even here in Česka Budějovice, it's not the second largest city because that's Brno. I think maybe it's the third or fourth or maybe even the fifth. There are not more than 300,000 people, I think. So.
Alright, let's go check the other side as well. Alright, let's find a nice spot. here as well that's your reward I'm going all up the stairs nice cool breeze so I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you guys the entire T of the stairway probably not this is rather boring though right it's uh, 10 minutes I'm already in so I'll probably take some uh, parts out of it the view is really great I really like it the big building there, the taller building is a hotel actually because I checked it earlier on what hotel to stay. But I actually want to have a hotel more in a central location so that's why I took the one that I'm staying at now. It's really nice. I like it. I always like the idea of going up on these towers so you can view the entirety of the city. Right now I think it's time to slowly go down and see what other surprises just get what Ivica has for us. So I'm actually now in the souvenir shop at the top of the tower. The funny thing is all the way downstairs they tell you it's 40 crowns to go up but the point where you actually have to pay the 40 crowns all the way on top so if you don't have small change with you you have to go all the way back down again without being able to enjoy a beautiful view I love that it's basically a uh, passive way to force you to check your pockets before going up the, all the way upstairs it's part of the clock. Absolutely enjoyed it. Definitely guys. If you're here, go up the tower. Now, like I said already earlier, let's go all the way down and back. And of course, it's way steeper to go down. <laughs> That's how long. Oh wow. You have to literally put your foot sideways to get down. It's like a clown. So I think it's more challenging to go down. Well, anyway guys, see you downstairs. These are the kind of things that rolling downstairs or falling downstairs is a lot quicker. I should not joke about that. I made it back down in one piece. A little bit sweaty. Because it's, uh, like I said, quite a climb. And even though downstairs or to go downwards, you still have to kind of like bend your knees go all the way like in crouched but yeah I loved it I think it's a it's a great thing all right let's see uh, what more we can find here in Czeska Budiovice I'm getting hungry though but I have to go on a little bit further well we can find beautiful clothes in Czeska Budiovice free free of charge look at this building actually super beautiful to look at and it's very typical that in this building there's the bank KB bank and it's not one of the only pretty buildings where there's a bank inside because in Prague you also have one and in that building there's a bank called Česka Sporšitelna and once you go inside you have to go up a very big marmor stair and then on top of it everything is made of gold it's bizarre you have no clue how it looks like once you're actually there I look at that I think this is so awesome so on the outside these are like post boxes how cool is this they're actually working as well because there are new locks on them Wow 
This is really awesome. The good thing about this is of course when a bank is in there or a big multinational company, they also pay for the upkeep of the building. It's a lot better instead of, you know, some small company goes in there or um, people live in there that do just basically don't have the money to keep up the building with its renovations and other stuff. And then this is literally just beside next door. And you see here, you know, old but it hasn't been used in years by the looks of it such a shame because it's uh well super central central location I like it very colorful little small streets really enjoy this You also get a sense that you're more in a smaller town than like a massive town because of all the lower buildings you know instead of all those big apartment buildings of like six seven eight floors like in Prague this feels a lot smaller and less claustrophobic I think cool. so our next stop is actually the Dominikanski Klaster or the Dominican Monastery I have no idea why it's called Dominican Monastery but I saw this from the tower as well I actually was really curious about this so I just quickly only checked the name see I'm a horrible tour guide because I have no idea about this building I do wonder if it's open it looks closed it is closed. Luckily I can put my hand through. It really looks pretty. I really want to see the statues actually up close, but fortunately I'm being held back. Let's see if we can find some information on it, guys. Oh, there is actually a sign that we can go there. Maybe we can go in. Maybe it's only that you can exit from that side, from the gate. I don't know. Let's see. Wow. It's so tall when you're standing next to it. Unbelievable. Also, the building is in unbelievably good state because it's so super white. It feels like it's just been painted recently. And that's really a good thing. I really enjoy that. I feel kind of cheated. Because according to their own opening hours, it should be open. But it isn't. So I don't know why. Oh well. Let's continue our walk. And by just going into some streets, just not following a guide, I come here and look at this. It's such an old street, very quiet, very calm, besides the birds, if you can hear it. Very colorful, very nice. It's called uh, Panska Street. I really think it's really cool. I wonder if it's always this quiet or if normally during tourist, tourism periods of time that it's more lively. And they're working on construction of this building. Coffee house. These are actually the kind of streets and the kind of shops where you should have a coffee because it's not mainstream it's like supporting your own local small business